Hi everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate the design and simulation of common source amplifier using advanced design system tool. For designing a common source amplifier, you need MOS devices to be placed in this work area. For MOS devices, go to the library palette, scroll down, select the devices MOS. You will be made available with numerous types of models. This is Berkeley's simulator model 1, BISIM 2, BISIM 3, like that you will have BISIM 4 model also. For the design and verification of a common source amplifier, I want a NMOS which acts as a common source, the source will be grounded and a PMOS on the top which acts as a load. You can move this text by using function and F5. Mirror this so that the source stays on top. Connect this drain to drain by using insert wire. Connect the bulk with the source or body with the source. You can take this as a output. Name this. Select the arc or first go to the insert wire or pin. Click on this. You can label this to V out. This is your input. For input, select the sources, time domain. Place the sinusoidal input because it is an amplifier sinusoidal you can place here and this is a fixed bias for fixed bias you can use this vdc v underscore dc place this component and one more for vdd as we have to provide the vdd to the PMOS. Place the ground pins make the required connections this is connected to source this act as a source or a fixed bias potential. So since it is a PMOS transistor, you should provide a negative potential so that it is a continuous on state. It will be in a saturation state. I will define a parameter by name VDC. I can double click on this and name VDC whose value is minus 5. So I can place this VDC here. It is having a value of minus 5 volt. Once the minus 5 volt is provided, it acts as a direct switch from the supply. The supply is also of 5 volts. You can change this. 
This transistor N MOS acts as a common source. The source has to be grounded but with a negative potential. So select this. By this, what is happening is you are providing the negative voltage because here the VDC looks like positive but it is defined as VDC is equal to minus 5 volt. We are giving a negative potential from this side. Make the connection. You have to define the inputs. You need to define the input. Amplitude for my simulation, I am taking it as 5 millivolts. 5 millivolts. Very, very low value. And the frequency of this 5 millivolt signal is taken to be 1 kilohertz with a delay of 0 nanosecond and damping factor 0, phase shift is also 0. That signal is not having any phase shift. Once the circuit design is completed, what we can do is we have to define the modal parameters for this NMOS and PMOS. Without that, you cannot perform the simulation of any circuit. To provide the modal file, search the netlist include. Select this, place here. For my simulation, I am using a 130 nanometer file. So double click on this, netlist include, include the file, browse it. I have placed the technology file 130 nanometer on the desktop. It says desktop has to be added to the path list. OK. Say apply. OK. Now we have included the model file. Once the model files are included, the length and width, it takes the default values. But for my application, I am defining the value to be 0 0.13 micrometer and width of the PMOS to be a parameter WP which is multiplied by 0 0.13 micrometer. I'll copy this. The same has to be specified for this NMOS model. I'll remove this. and specify the width of the NMOS. Set the parameter to WN multiplied by 0 0.13. Until and unless you specify these parameters as variable, you, you will not perform the simulation. I will show you. Then to perform the analysis, I am using the transient go to the simulation transient place the transient controller i am performing the simulation from 1 microsecond to a stop time of 5 millisecond with maximum time steps 10 microsecond with a time step of 101 points 
click OK. Since we haven't specified WP and WN variables, these are multiplying factors so that I can get a optimum performance. Try to simulate it. It gives me first error is MOSFET1 is an undefined for MOSFET1. In the technology file, the model file contains the CMOS N. We haven't specified. And more for PMOS, it is CMOS P. First, we have to define them. Here, we have to define that CMOS N. This model to CMOS P. Once the models are declared and technology file is included, it is ready for simulation. But I, as I told you, WP and WN are not specified. So it gives me error. WN is not specified for the MOS. So you have to declare that as a variable. So I'll use insert variable and define WP. One more variable is WN. By double clicking, you can have it. Click on add. Okay. Now you have two variables. So set the WP for best performance of this amplifier. You can set WP is 2.0 and WN to 5.35. Once the schematic is completed totally, you can go for the simulation. You can perform the simulation. Since there are no errors, this is the error window, error log window. The simulation is fine. Now you can place the rectangular plot into your design. Select this, place here. I haven't specified the names of the variables. I have specified only the output. I want to specify the input to this. This is my V in. And this is my V bias. It provides a fixed potential. Save it. Again, you can simulate it. Select this rectangular plot. Now you can plot V in and V out. It is OK. So you can see this. I have this is the input signal. I'll increase the thickness of this to 1.0. Double click on it. This is also 1.0. Zero. Okay. You can see this. I have specified the input with an amplitude of 5 millivolts. At the output, I have 5 plus 5, negative 5 millivolts and positive 5 millivolts. In total, it is 10 millivolt input signal. Here, you can see the phase shift. This particular common source amplifier is providing a phase shift. It is having a phase shift. Now you can measure, measure the maximum amplitude of this. Then from that you can find the gain of this particular amplifier. So maximum value can see this. 
m1 is 2.873 and m2 is 2.873 and m2 is having a minimum value of 2.848 so you have to subtract 2.873 minus 2.848 so I'll use a calculator for this the first value is 2.873 2.848 the difference is this that means it is around 25 millivolts 25 millivolts what I have applied it is a signal of 10 millivolt output you are getting as 25, 25 millivolt if I divide it by so I can say by 10 millivolts so this is 25 this is 25 millivolts 25 millivolts divided by 10 millivolts it will give you 25 divided by 10 so the gain of this particular amplifier is 2.5 for a 10, 10 millivolts input signal it is multiplying by 2.5 times this signal you are getting likewise you can increase the amplitude you can increase the amplitude and you can check the result simulate it the value have changed you can change that 2.5 2.885 minus 2.835 will give you a constant value in terms of millivolt divided by input will give you the gain of this particular amplifier for a 10 millivolt now if I change the frequency of this earlier I have used only frequency of 1 kilohertz now will change it to 10 kilohertz save it run this simulation it shows the input signal it has simulated from 0 to 5 milli I can enlarge this see the values have changed the peak value is M1 and the minimum value is this from this also nothing the value has not changed here 2.885 even though the frequency of the signal has changed the gain remains 2.5 for this particular CS amplifier this is how you perform the simulation and design of a common source amplifier using advanced design system tool so i'll save it so this is the output result for this common source amplifier thank you